As one of the most influential international organizations in the world, every development of the BRICS organization has attracted global attention, especially from Western countries. In August 2023, the BRICS countries carried out their first large-scale expansion in 11 years. In this expansion, a total of 23 countries submitted applications for membership, but in the end only six countries successfully obtained membership qualifications, namely Argentina, Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, Iran, Egypt and Ethiopia. However, it should be noted that among the 23 applying countries, one country expressed a strong desire to join the BRIC and seek development, but it completely lost this opportunity because it was blocked by India. It isn't Algeria. Although Algeria failed to join the BRICS organization, China subsequently announced an investment of up to 36 billion US dollars in Algeria in order to show its great support for it, aiming to promote local economic development and strengthen cooperation and trade relations between the two parties. In today's video, we take a closer look at the reasons behind India's decision to block Algeria from joining BRICS. At the same time, we will also analyze the motivations and possible impacts of China's huge investment in Algeria. Welcome to Word Answer, where you will be able to learn about projects, cooperation around the world and important information about China. Subscribe to us and discover more interesting events around the world. Algeria, a country located on the Mediterranean coast of North Africa, not only has 45.08 million passionate people, but also has a vast land of 2.38 million square kilometers. As one of the most influential countries in North Africa, Algeria's total GDP in 2022 reached 191.9 billion US dollars, ranking firmly as the fourth largest economy in Africa. Much of Algeria's economic strength has long been derived from its rich natural resources, including oil, natural gas, iron ore and gold. These rich resources not only form the backbone of Algeria's economy, but also give the country an important position on the international stage. But in order to pursue greater development opportunities, Algeria has also set its sights on the BRICS organization. As one of the most influential international organizations in the world, the total GDP of the BRICS countries reached a record high of 25.91 trillion US dollars in 2022, accounting for 25.6% of global GDP. At the same time, these five countries also have a huge population base accounting for about 42% of the total global population. This series of data shows that any country joining this economic alliance will gain a huge consumer market and broad development space. In order to seek development, Algeria has also expressed its strong desire to join the BRICS, and officially submitted a membership application to South Africa in 2022, hoping to become a member of the alliance in 2023. However, becoming a full member of the BRICS must also meet a series of challenges and thresholds. As far as I know, joining the BRICS countries requires meeting a series of conditions, including maintaining political stability, having strong economic strength, occupying a geopolitical position and the country's population land area and resource reserves also need to reach a certain scale. In fact, Algeria, one of the most populous countries in North Africa, ranks fourth in Africa's economic rankings. In addition to its significant influence in the region, Algeria has clear advantages over countries such as Ethiopia and Saudi Arabia in terms of economic size and oil production. Especially in terms of natural gas export volume, the country even surpasses the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia. So in many ways, Algeria appears to meet all the criteria for joining the BRICS grouping. But what is surprising is that Algeria was not included in the final list of new BRICS members. So, why is this? In fact, the five members of the BRICS group have held many discussions on whether Algeria can pass the requirements to join the BRICS. As far as I know, China, 
Russia and South Africa have chosen to support Algeria's accession, but Brazil has not yet made a clear statement, while India voted against it. This is because China and Russia believe that Algeria meets the standards and values of the BRICS countries. If Algeria joins, it will help enhance the influence of BRICS countries in Africa and the Middle East. But according to the rules of the meeting, the BRICS group must abide by India's negative vote. Therefore, Algeria ultimately failed to join the BRICS group. Interestingly, before this year's BRICS summit, France contacted Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and asked India to exercise its veto power to prevent Algeria from joining the BRICS. So, what kind of political motivations are hidden behind this? In the past, Algeria had been a colony governed by the French-backed Nigerian government. With the rise of the global colonial independence movement, Algeria finally overthrew the French-supported regime and achieved independence. Against this historical background, Algeria and France have always maintained tense international relations. In order to prevent the expansion of Algeria's influence, France decided to target the BRICS countries this time, and successfully roped in India as its ally to vote against Algeria's membership of the BRICS. But for India, it can also gain more benefits by choosing to stand with France. India has long been worried that countries with close ties to China joining the BRICS may weaken its influence within the BRICS, and reduce its say in decision-making. In order to safeguard its position in BRICS cooperation, India continues to oppose the expansion of the BRICS organization. At the same time, India has become more inclined to cooperate with Western countries, led by the United States, in recent years. However, Western countries are eager to see disagreements within the BRICS cooperation mechanism to weaken China's influence, and have an impact on cooperation among BRICS member states. Therefore, Western countries have seized this opportunity from India to penetrate the BRICS cooperation mechanism and influence the willingness to cooperate among member countries to achieve their own strategic goals. Did you know that although Algeria lost the opportunity to become a member of the BRICS, it received 36 billion US dollar worth of investment from China? What is going on? In the past few decades, China, as Algeria's strategic partner, has almost contracted a large portion of major local infrastructure projects. Currently, there are more than 1,000 Chinese companies carrying out projects in Algeria, and more than 60,000 Chinese citizens work in Algeria. Among all the project cooperation between the two parties, the construction of the East-West Expressway, undertaken by China, is the most eye-catching. This 1,216-kilometer-long highway spans 24 provinces and regions in Algeria, with a design speed of 80 to 120 kilometers per hour. The cooperation has created 100,000 local jobs in Algeria. Since the completion of the highway, it has successfully connected Algeria's important cities and economic centers greatly improving the efficiency of transportation between cities in the east and west of the country. At the same time, it provides better logistics channels and creates good conditions for Algeria's economic growth. Now, although Algeria has failed to successfully join the BRICS, in order to strengthen the relationship between the two sides, China announced at the meeting marking the 65th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between the two sides, that it will invest approximately 36 billion US dollars in Algeria, and is committed to improving Algeria's industrial and modern technology transportation and other fields. The most important of these is that Algeria's infrastructure such as railways will be expanded in the next few years. There is no doubt that China will contract most of the projects in future railway projects, and it will also provide strong support for Algeria's sustainable development. But for China, what is the real intention of spending so much money investing in Algeria? As a country with huge fuel reserves and a relatively low level of national debt, Algeria has huge development potential and is an important partner for China in seeking future development opportunities in the region. Compared with other countries, 
The country's geographical location between Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa has important geopolitical strategic significance. Prior to this, China and Algeria signed the One Belt, One Road initiative, which will bring greater economic benefits and influence to China through geographical location. In return, China has been supporting Algeria's development with financial investment. But it is worth noting that although the bilateral trade volume between China and Algeria in 2022 will be as high as 7.42 billion US dollars, but few people know that Algeria is the world's largest natural gas exporter. This shows that the country's natural gas resources are expected to contribute to China's diversification of energy supply, reduce dependence on a single energy source, and thereby improve energy security. It is expected that the energy export trade between the two parties will continue to expand in the future. Although Algeria failed to successfully join the BRICS this year, as the largest country in North Africa, it is located in the throat of the Mediterranean and its economic scale has always been at the forefront of the region. At the same time, the country is also a member of OPEC. Against this background, Algeria still has great hope of joining the BRICS organization in the future, injecting new vitality into the BRICS and expanding its influence. As for the BRICS group, they will also take each applying country seriously, gradually expand the scope of members, and bring development opportunities to more countries.